Welcome to the Miniatures Paintbrush. Today we're going to have a video response to Mr. Vince Ventruella's question, 40K, are you in? Well, first off, I started collecting miniatures and painting miniatures and uh, loving miniatures uh, when I played a little bit of D&D, &D, which is a role-playing game. And I just love the aesthetic, I love the fantasy, um, I love the genre, and in fact, my love for uh, Age of Sigmar is not going to go anywhere, even fantasy battles, I just love the models, I, I want to paint, and I, I really want to improve and push myself, so I, I look at model, model companies, and uh, I look at cool sculpts, and, and I go for it, you know. Um, so, my love for Age of Sigmar is not going there anywhere soon. It's going to be deep, deep rooted into my heart. In fact, I just finished uh, a couple for my Death Army, a couple of things there, and, um, and and I love it. But while growing up, reading magazines as I did while I was a kid, and uh, going to the library, and uh, waiting for the next issue to come out, and I personally request from the library, and I know people don't do that anymore. A lot of people in the age of Kindles and and technology, people don't really go to the library as much as they, well, they used to. And I feel old. Anywho, uh, to get to the topic, 40K, am I in? It was last winter. Was it two winters ago? It was two winters ago. Oh my goodness, it was two years ago. All right, so about two years ago, I guess I was uh, looking through uh, Warhammer's website and a Games Workshop's website, and I, I saw 40K, and I knew I, I knew about the Space Marines before when I was growing up, but um, I said, you know what? They have these Battle Force deals coming up. Um, I think I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna go in and get myself a Battle Force. Let me show you what I got here. And um, I like vampires, and I like wolves, werewolves. So I figured if I'm gonna get an army. Might as well be some wolven, part um, werewolf. Plus, I like these guys right here. They're wolves. They actually get wolves. And I figured, well, if all else fails and I don't have anything else, I can always use them in a D&D campaign or something like that. It's, you know, um, what are they called? Really large wolves. Wargs. Yeah. Why not, right? And the sculpts are great, and I learned to paint them. So, there. I went in with that. Now, with no intention of playing the game, because I knew it was too convoluted with the rules and everything else, I went ahead and gotten that. And since I've gotten that, I figured, uh, since it's such a great deal, uh, and it really is a great deal, um, I got myself the Space, uh, the Space Wolves start collecting box, which is great too, and it has wolves and stuff like that. I figured I'd get it in. Again, I had no intentions of playing, I just like the models, I like the poses, I like uh, Games Workshops, uh, the quality of their models, um, very small gaps, easy to cut, easy to shave down with the back of my, uh, my a hobby knife, not a problem. Um, so, advent of the 8th edition coming up, and I'm looking at the uh, GW website, and I'm looking at all the Warhammer news and everything like that, and... I said, okay, so there's Primaris Marines, which are taller, but they're in blue. Well, what am I going to do with that? I, I like the Space Wolves. Lo and behold, I uh, spot this, which is a Space Wolves upgrade pack, because I find out that the shoulders are compatible with other shoulders from the regular Space Marines. So, I've got some shoulder pads here. I got a couple of things going on here that I can use for my very first conversions. Now, I do have to say um, that when I picked it up, I have full intentions of trying to make them look like these guys. But then I, mean, I don't think that's going to be. I think this is going to be possible. Not with the upgrade pack. So when I got the upgrade pack, I guess I got a little overzealous, and uh, the Wolfen. Maybe not. Okay. Um, so, to continue on to the hype, of course, I got my issue of White Dwarf here. And to be continued, right? Being a teacher in the summer, 
and my affinity of reading, reading fantasy stuff. Yeah, I love it. Anywho, I waited and pre-ordered and picked up <coughs> this bad boy right here. And, well, I'm too deep not to be in right now. Yeah, I want to play. And one of the main reasons why I'm excited about this game right here is because, <clears throat> although my love for Age of Sigmar will always be there, there's no, like, meta here in my area. Nobody's playing it, which is really sad because I just, you know, reread the rules again and I figured it was, it's pretty simple to pick up and play. But there is a 40k meta. I think there's a 40k meta just about everywhere because it's such a huge game. And um, why not? Why not? Uh, I was never a fan of the Nurgle stuff, but you know, this is a big one. I'm thinking if I ran a D&D campaign and you, know, you gotta fight against somebody, so why not fight against somebody you kind of think is disgusting and hate? I think it starts collecting Nurgle boxes in order somewhere. Who knows? Black Kings. We'll see. As far as 40k and Vince's question, am I in? I'm in for two reasons. I'm in because reason number one. It's 12 pages of rules as opposed to I don't even know how large those codexes were, those codices. All the rules, it was just, and you had to buy a big, huge tome, and, uh, I'm with you on this one, Vince. I don't like games that are too convoluted, too complex, where I could just, you know, lose my mind in the details. That being said, you know, D&D &D is like, but then again, once you get the core mechanics of D&D, &D, you can pretty much add anything you want and look up rules as you need it, if you need it, because the number one rule of that game is just to have fun, and if your crew's having fun, then who cares if we have to look for grapple checks and, and be exactly detailed with strength and stuff like that. Yeah, sure, yeah, grab them. Big deal, right? Um, now, this being said, that's the first turn. Um, the rules. The rules are streamlined. I like that. And second of all, is because I can actually find people to play with. Those are the two things that will draw me in. And since I'm trying to expand the community, of course I'll have demo games of AOS going on with really well, I mean, decently painted miniatures uh, in my area coming up soon. But that being said, this I don't have to work at to get active and, and done and get into play. So am I all in? Oh yeah, I'm all in big time. I'm in too deep. Well, I thank you, Vince, for uh, sharing the topics of the week, which is pretty awesome. Um, gets me thinking about stuff, for sure. Uh, I've never played in tournaments or anything like that, so, you know, doing a report about, you know, tournament play and stuff like that, no idea. I will be showing up at Nova Open this year, and I'm doing PAX Unplugged because they're in my area and I can get to them. And I hope to one day get to Adepticon and compete in Crystal Brush. All right, so I'm a dreamer. It's what I am. Well, I hope you uh, liked this episode of uh, Miniature's Paintbrush, and I'll catch you next time.